Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about the power of protecting your peace. Have you ever felt drained, overwhelmed, or stuck because of the people around you? Maybe it was a friend who never seemed to understand your boundaries, or a family member whose negativity always seemed to weigh you down. How often have you found yourself struggling to move forward in life because the energy of others was holding you back? We've all experienced that feeling. The energy of certain people and situations can feel like a constant drain on your life. And sometimes, the hardest part is realizing that you're the one who has to make a change. But here's the truth. Sometimes, the best decision you can make for your peace and your growth is to protect your space. It might mean letting go of relationships quietly, without drama. It might mean cutting people off silently. This isn't about being cold or heartless. This is about being intentional with your energy. This is about creating space for the right people, the right opportunities, and the right energy that will help you elevate. Protecting your peace is one of the most important acts of self-love you can do. It's not selfish, it's necessary. And yes, it might feel uncomfortable at first, but I promise you, it's worth it. Because when you start protecting your peace, everything else in your life begins to shift. I want you to think for a moment. Who in your life right now is adding to your growth? Who is supporting you, uplifting you, and helping you move forward? And on the flip side, who might be holding you back? Who might be draining your energy or constantly testing your boundaries? Because the truth is, when you protect your peace, you create space for the right people to enter your life. You start attracting the energy and the opportunities that align with your purpose. Let's dive in further and discuss the importance of setting boundaries as the key to protecting your peace. Let's be honest. Setting boundaries can be one of the hardest things to do, especially when you care about the people in your life. We don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or make them feel like we're pulling away. But here's the reality. Boundaries are not just for protecting your peace. They're a form of respect for both yourself and the people around you. Boundaries are a clear, intentional line that tells people what's acceptable and what's not in your life. Without boundaries, it's easy to get caught up in other people's demands, their drama, and their emotional baggage. And over time, this can drain you, leaving you with less energy for the things that truly matter. When you set boundaries, you're saying, I value myself and my energy enough to protect it. You're telling the world, I can't be everything to everyone, but I am going to be everything to myself. Boundaries aren't about being rigid or rejecting others. They're about preserving your inner peace and ensuring you can show up for those who matter most to you. Maybe it's deciding not to answer calls during your work hours because you know you need to focus on your goals. Maybe it's saying no to a toxic friendship because it's draining your energy more than it's giving. Or maybe it's taking a step back from a family member who constantly crosses your emotional boundaries and disrupts your peace. Setting these boundaries isn't always easy, but it's necessary because once you start protecting your peace, something magical happens. You begin to realize how much of your energy has been wasted on people or situations that weren't serving your growth. Protecting your peace isn't just about avoiding stress. It's about creating an environment where you can thrive where you can put your energy toward your dreams, your purpose, and the people who truly support you. And here's the truth. The more you protect your peace, the more you'll see how your life begins to change for the better. Another important aspect of protecting your peace is the power of cutting people off and doing it silently. Now let's talk about something that can be uncomfortable, but necessary. Cutting people off. It's one of the most powerful tools in protecting your peace but the key is doing it silently. No drama, no explanations, just a quiet, firm decision to prioritize yourself and your well-being. There are people in your life, maybe even people you once thought you couldn't live without, who are draining your energy. Maybe they're toxic, constantly undermining your growth, or they just don't respect your boundaries. These people are holding you back, whether they realize it or not. And here's the thing, Sometimes, cutting them off isn't about animosity. It's about survival. It's about making sure you have enough energy to pour into the things that matter. The most powerful way to cut people off is not through confrontation 
or creating chaos, it's through silence. You don't need to explain yourself. You don't need to justify your actions. The moment you make the decision to protect your peace, you start to create distance from the people who no longer belong in your life. And guess what? You don't owe them an explanation. Silence is your boundary. Your absence speaks volumes. You might feel guilty at first. You might second guess your decision, wondering if you've been too harsh or if you should have tried harder. But here's the reality. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't continue to give to others if you're constantly being drained by their negative energy. So cutting them off isn't about being petty. It's about choosing yourself. It's about putting your peace and growth first. Maybe you've stopped reaching out to someone who always leaves you feeling exhausted after every conversation. Or perhaps you've distanced yourself from a friend who continuously disrespects your time and energy. Maybe you've stopped attending social events that drain you and started prioritizing time for personal growth instead. These aren't actions of rejection. They're actions of self-preservation. When you cut people off silently, you're not just letting go of their presence in your life. You're creating space for the people who truly deserve to be there. The ones who respect your boundaries, the ones who support your vision, the ones who encourage you to keep growing even when it's hard. And over time, you'll notice a shift. Your energy will feel lighter. Your mind will feel clearer. And you'll feel more aligned with your true purpose. The hardest part of cutting people off isn't the actual decision. It's the guilt that follows. That voice inside you might try to convince you that you're doing something wrong, that you're abandoning people, that you're being selfish. But let me remind you, protecting your peace is not selfish. It's necessary. Sometimes the people you thought you couldn't live without are the very ones who are preventing you from growing. Once you start prioritizing your peace and cutting off the people who are holding you back, you'll find that the guilt starts to fade. You'll realize that the people who truly care about you, the ones who want to see you thrive, will understand. They won't hold it against you. In fact, they might respect you more for making the hard decisions that allow you to move forward in life. As you release the negativity and let go of those who no longer serve your growth, you'll notice how much easier it becomes to focus on your dreams. And when you start protecting your peace by cutting people off silently, you're not just freeing yourself from the weight of others. You're making room for the things that will elevate your life, align you with your purpose, and bring the right people and opportunities into your world. Now let's discuss the transformation that comes when you prioritize your peace. When you start prioritizing your peace and cutting off the negativity, you'll experience a profound transformation. It's not just about removing people or situations that drain you. It's about making space for the right energy, the right people, and the right opportunities to flow into your life. When you cut out the negative energy, you create room for positive energy to fill that space. You'll notice that your mindset begins to shift. You'll feel lighter, more at ease. The constant mental chatter and emotional exhaustion that once kept you weighed down will begin to quiet. Your mind will feel clearer, your heart will feel lighter, and your focus will sharpen. As you protect your peace, you also protect your space. And when you create a positive, healthy environment around you, that's when the right people start to show up. The people who support your growth, the people who respect your boundaries, the people who lift you up rather than bring you down. Suddenly, you'll find yourself surrounded by individuals who genuinely want to see you succeed, who share your vision and want to grow alongside you. You'll begin to notice a deeper sense of alignment with your purpose. You'll feel more connected to your true self. You'll no longer be distracted by the opinions, judgments, or expectations of others. Instead, you'll focus on what truly matters, your goals, your passions, your vision. You'll start to take actions that are in harmony with your highest potential and move toward your future with confidence. Another powerful change you'll notice is emotional resilience. When you let go of toxic people or situations, you also stop absorbing their emotional chaos. You stop allowing external factors to dictate your mood or your peace. You'll be able to face challenges and obstacles with a calm and centered mindset, knowing that you have the emotional space to handle anything that comes your way. 
as your peace and energy shift, so will the opportunities that come your way. You'll start to attract the right opportunities, those that align with your purpose, your goals, and your personal growth. Success will no longer feel like something that's out of reach. It will feel more like a natural progression, a result of your dedication to protecting your peace and focusing on what truly matters. As you move forward, there will still be challenges. There will still be setbacks. But with the transformation that comes from protecting your peace, you'll face these challenges with more clarity and a stronger sense of self. You'll be better equipped to make decisions that serve your growth and steer clear of distractions that would once pull you off course. This transformation will also help you embrace the new version of yourself. The person who has learned to say no to what doesn't serve them. The person who understands their worth and is committed to protecting their peace. As you continue this journey, you'll realize that prioritizing yourself isn't selfish. It's essential. You can't show up for others. You can't give your best to the world if you're constantly drained by the wrong people or situations. And here's the beautiful thing. When you prioritize your peace, it doesn't just change you. It changes the world around you. Your relationships improve. Your career and creative pursuits flourish. Your overall well-being elevates. As you become the best version of yourself, you inspire others to do the same. Your commitment to your peace and growth sets an example for those around you encouraging them to take charge of their own lives as well. So, here's the truth. When you prioritize your peace, when you make the conscious decision to protect your energy, your life will begin to transform. You'll attract the right people, opportunities, and experiences. You'll become more aligned with your purpose, more resilient in the face of challenges, and more confident in who you are. And when you make this choice, when you finally step into the life you're meant to live, you'll realize that the journey was always about you learning to choose yourself. Because in the end, you're worthy of peace, you're worthy of growth, and you're worthy of the life you've always dreamed of. Now let's talk about the inner process of letting go. The decision to protect your peace. Making the decision to protect your peace is not always easy. It's about prioritizing your well-being and growth, not out of selfishness, but out of self-respect. It takes courage to let go of what no longer serves you. Protecting your peace begins with realizing something needs to change. You recognize that the energy around you no longer aligns with your growth. You're no longer thriving. You're simply surviving. Letting go brings emotional conflict, guilt, fear, and uncertainty. You might worry about hurting others or being judged, but protecting your peace isn't selfish. It's necessary for your growth and happiness. Yes, guilt and fear will creep in, but you're not abandoning anyone. You're choosing not to carry their emotional baggage. You are responsible for your happiness, not theirs. The key is realizing you have the power to choose. You don't have to stay in situations that drain you. You can decide what deserves a place in your life. And this is an empowering realization. Once you decide to let go, do it quietly. You don't need drama or explanations. By distancing yourself and setting boundaries, you regain control of your life and assert your peace in a calm, graceful way. You don't owe anyone an apology for choosing peace. You're not required to justify your decision. Your journey is yours, and prioritizing peace is your right. Letting go is a powerful act of strength. It's uncomfortable, but it creates space for new opportunities and the right people to enter your life. As you move forward, you'll feel lighter and more aligned with your purpose. By letting go, you open the door to a new chapter filled with peace and clarity. You'll attract what aligns with your purpose and experience growth as you move forward with confidence. Remember, protecting your peace is an active choice to prioritize your well-being. Let go of what no longer serves you and embrace the new possibilities ahead. You are worthy of peace, growth, and the life you've always dreamed of. Now let's discuss something that is often overlooked when it comes to cutting people off, the power of silence in your growth journey. Silence is one of the most powerful tools you can use in your growth journey. It's not about being passive. It's about being intentional with your energy and focus. When you begin to protect your peace, you'll notice that silence becomes your strongest ally. It's a way of setting boundaries without drama, 
without confrontation, just a quiet assertion of your values. Silence speaks volumes. It allows you to step back and observe without getting caught up in the noise of other people's expectations or drama. In this quiet space, you regain clarity and focus. Stepping away from draining relationships or situations doesn't require a grand explanation. Sometimes the best way to make your point is by withdrawing quietly, creating distance with respect and grace. Your silence may be uncomfortable for some. It may even make them question what went wrong. But that's not your concern. Your silence is an invitation for them to reflect on their own actions and growth. Sometimes your absence is exactly what someone needs to start reflecting on their own journey. But even if they don't, that's not your responsibility. Your focus is on your own growth and peace. As you withdraw from negative influences, you create space for the right people, the ones who resonate with your values, goals, and energy. You start attracting relationships and opportunities that nourish your spirit. Silence shows confidence in your choices. It shows you don't need to explain yourself or justify your growth. Your actions speak louder than words, and by prioritizing your peace, you show strength and resilience. Silence is not weakness. It's a strategic choice for your personal growth. By embracing silence, you create a space for clarity, for the right people to enter your life, and for the alignment of your true purpose. Protect your peace and let your silence work in your favor. Now let's dig deeper and discuss the liberation of letting go. Letting go is one of the most freeing acts you can perform in your life. It's about releasing the things that no longer serve you, making room for what truly matters. Letting go of toxic people or situations isn't easy, but it's necessary for your growth. Holding on to negativity, resentment, or unhealthy connections drains your energy and keeps you stuck in a cycle that doesn't align with your purpose. You have to recognize that not everything and not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever. People and experiences serve their purpose, but sometimes the purpose is to teach you a lesson, not to stay in your world indefinitely. The hardest part about letting go is the emotional attachment. You might feel guilty, worried about how others will react, or even afraid of being alone. But remember, the longer you hold on to things that don't serve you, the longer you delay your own progress. Letting go is a powerful act of self-respect. It's saying to yourself that you are worthy of peace, growth, and joy. It's understanding that you cannot keep giving your energy to something that doesn't nurture or align with your future. Once you release what's no longer aligned with your growth, don't look back. Your focus should be on the future, on your dreams, your purpose, and the people who uplift and encourage you to be the best version of yourself. Letting go also gives you the space to heal. When you release the baggage of unhealthy relationships, negative patterns, or toxic environments, you create room for healing, clarity, and inner peace. Sometimes the most significant growth comes when we're willing to let go of what's holding us back. It's a choice. Do you stay in the comfort of familiarity or do you embrace the discomfort of change for a brighter future? Letting go is liberating. It's not about abandoning others, but about honoring yourself. When you release what no longer serves you, you create space for abundance, for peace, and for the life you deserve. Let go and watch how your life transforms. Now let's discuss the fear of embracing new beginnings. Embracing new beginnings can be one of the most exciting yet challenging aspects of growth. It's about stepping into the unknown with faith, courage, and a belief that what lies ahead is greater than what you're leaving behind. Change often brings fear. It's natural to feel uncertain when you're stepping into new territory. But remember, growth happens outside of your comfort zone. It's in the spaces that feel unfamiliar and challenging where you truly expand. To fully embrace a new beginning, you have to release the past. Whether it's past failures, relationships, or old habits, holding on to them keeps you tethered to a version of yourself that no longer aligns with who you're becoming. New beginnings are full of potential. They bring fresh opportunities, perspectives, and experiences. By welcoming the unknown, 
you open yourself up to limitless possibilities, allowing new people, lessons, and experiences to enter your life. It takes courage to embrace change, but when you step into the unknown with confidence, you are showing yourself that you trust the process. The universe has a way of guiding you, but it can only do so when you're willing to move forward, even when the path isn't clear. Trust in yourself is essential when embracing new beginnings. You've learned valuable lessons from your past, and now it's time to trust your instincts and the wisdom you've gained. Trust that you have the strength and resilience to navigate whatever comes your way. Understand that uncertainty is a part of the journey. You won't always have the answers, but that's okay. Embrace the unpredictability of life. It's what makes the journey exciting and rich with potential. Sometimes the best opportunities come when you least expect them. Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life. Control can often come from fear. And when you release the need to control, you allow life to unfold in ways that exceed your expectations. Trust that things will work out, even if they don't go according to plan. New beginnings are a chance to reinvent yourself. They are an opportunity to shed old layers, habits, and mindsets that no longer serve you. It's a time to step into a version of yourself that's stronger, wiser, and more aligned with your true purpose. Embrace the new beginnings with an open heart and an open mind. Know that every fresh start is a chance to grow, evolve, and create the life you've always dreamed of. When you let go of the old and step into the new, you're inviting the best version of yourself to emerge. Finally, let's wrap it up with the power of self-worth. Your self-worth is the foundation of everything you do in life. It dictates how you treat yourself, how others treat you, and how you approach challenges. When you understand your worth, you set the standard for your life, your relationships, and your success. Too often, we seek validation from the outside world, waiting for others to confirm our value. But the truth is, your worth is not determined by others' opinions or by external achievements. Your value comes from within, from recognizing that you are worthy of love, success, and respect simply because you exist. Self-worth is deeply tied to self-respect. When you respect yourself, you set boundaries, you say no when needed, and you prioritize your well-being. This respect for yourself is not just about what you do, but how you feel about yourself, that inner confidence that says, I am enough. Self-doubt is one of the biggest obstacles to realizing your full potential. It whispers lies to you, telling you that you're not good enough, that you're unworthy of your dreams. But you have to recognize that these thoughts are not the truth. Your self-worth is not based on perfection. It's based on your inherent value as a human being. Self-love is not just about pampering yourself or feeling good in the moment. It's about deeply valuing who you are, flaws and all. It's about embracing your strengths and weaknesses, acknowledging your past and forgiving yourself for your mistakes. When you love yourself, you create the foundation for all other love to flow into your life. When you don't believe in your own worth, you settle for less than you deserve. You tolerate relationships that drain you, jobs that undervalue you, and situations that don't serve your growth. Low self-worth creates a cycle where you attract and accept less, but when you begin to honor your value, everything around you shifts. People with low self-worth are often vulnerable to negativity, whether it's criticism, judgment, or toxic relationships. But when you know your worth, you can rise above these external forces. You understand that others' negativity is a reflection of them, not you. Your self-worth isn't up for negotiation. Confidence isn't something you're born with, it's built through actions. Every time you choose to take care of yourself, to stand up for yourself, to pursue your dreams, you build a stronger belief in your own worth. Action reinforces your value, and the more you take, the more you prove to yourself that you are capable, deserving, and worthy. Your self-worth doesn't just affect you, it influences everyone you come into contact with. When you believe in your own value, you attract people who also value you. You become a magnet for positivity, growth, and success. Your energy shifts, and suddenly, doors open and opportunities come your way. Know this, you are worthy of everything you desire in life. Your dreams, your happiness, 
your peace, you deserve it all. When you embrace your worth, you set a new standard for yourself and everyone around you. The key to a fulfilling life is rooted in recognizing and honoring your inherent value. Never forget that you are enough just as you are.